Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? So I'm a musician from the future. We basically look exactly the same. We still wear ridiculous leather jackets. We have cowboy boots and no cows and tattered jeans. But that's not really the point. The point is, the future of music revolves around how you consume it. So now let's talk about the music. Clearly, already the CD is dead and 99 cent downloads are dying quickly. But music is clearly alive and well. So what does that tell us? Wait for it. CDs are just storage. You probably already know this. CDs are not music and they are not musicians. Neither are 99 cent downloads. Neither is any form of consuming music that's not standing in front of somebody and having them go <laughs> for you. So in order to figure out how we got here and where we're going in the future, we need to understand where we've been in the past. Man, I'm going quickly for this. How are you doing? Okay? All right, so in 1997, Napster destroyed the music industry as we knew it. But before that, the music industry destroyed music as we knew it by putting commerce over quality. <laughs> hey, man, there's nothing wrong with a bunch of money in music. But before that, phonographs and radios destroyed live performance because you didn't have to be in front of a musician to hear it. And before that, Publishers destroyed composition and composers as we knew them because you could just buy sheet music. You didn't have to hire somebody to write new music for you. And it all started with Costanza Mozart, who sold Mozart's stuff after he died a pauper to make some money. That's where the entire music industry grew from selling artifacts and knickknacks rather than connecting people with music. But before that, patrons connected directly with artists to make new art happen. Since then, Basically, middlemen have weighed down the whole process, and we can no longer connect directly with the art that moves us. So now let's talk about the meaning of life. The meaning of life, quite simply, is to live a life of meaning. It's pretty simple if you think about it, but it's difficult to do. Motion creates emotion. We're attracted to things we move toward them. We're repulsed by things, we move away from them. But bottom line is, this is all about how we feel about what's going on in front of us. And music is all about how we feel. We create meaning in our lives by resonating with the things that help us define ourselves in the world. Music is among these, you know, possessions, religion, sports teams, the list goes on and on, but we define ourselves this way. So. How we got to where we are in the future is that technology came in and broke down that wall. We don't have to do one to one. We don't even have to do one to a few hundred. We can do one to over a million, even if you're Ashton Kutcher. So these investors that made music happen in the old industry are scared to put money in this hole. And these are your new distributors, your fans, online, distributing everything as immediately. And patrons help make this happen. So here's where we build an entirely new way of consuming music. Because if you have people who love the music, funding the music, you can make more music. And then you can share it with whomever you please. You don't have to worry about spending your way into a hole and earning your way out of it. So in the future, you're at a show, you got your phone, you can beam money directly to that act and say, you know what, I want to give these guys five bucks a month to keep doing that thing that I think is awesome. It's really easy. You can also swing by and not have to mess with the merch table. You can beam money directly at them from a phone or whatever technological platform we have at that point. And you can just cruise by, grab a shirt, grab a CD, grab the artifacts. You no longer have to pay people directly for the music. So up here in the upper left-hand corner, we have a virtuous cycle of musicians, patrons, and the money going back to make more music. Then these guys can share it along that technological platform, however it exists and they can share with the rest of the world. But music is just an entry point. Technology makes it possible to support anything that brings meaning into your life with the means to sustain it. So if you have this virtuous cycle going, you can actually create value by going out into the world and doing beneficial things for other people. Talking about the last two presentations, Guy Kawasaki especially. 
Go out into the world. Do wonderful things. Create value from the service you provide to other people. And this is how technology is not just the future of music, but this is how technology connects us deeper with meaning and creates a beneficial, virtuous cycle in the future. 2021, heading back there now. John Pointer, thank you very much for listening. <laughs>